Hey guys, so we're gonna do a quick little side by side comparison here between Android 5 and the Lollipop here on the Nexus 5 on the left side uh, versus the um, Android 4.4.4 KitKat here uh, with Synoja Mod 11 here on the OnePlus One smartphone. You want to check them out here, how they look in comparison, pretty quick here. So if we start off here, still kind of the same kind of home screens here uh, with the Google thing up there at the top. Uh, if we move down here, you can see a big thing here. You have to use like two fingers here to to bring this one down. Pretty quick. If you just use one finger, I find it pretty weird in one way. It feels like it should go down there uh, immediately. It's like you know, it's weird. I think. Uh, but you can kind of see here you have toggles here on both but this one is has has this new of course material design uh, that we do get inside of um, inside of Android Fopento Lollipop but um, and also this one has a menu here where you can tap and see these like quick little toggles over here as well uh, so kind of a little bit like uh, this was the look here in Android Format 4 but uh, it's a little bit modified here for us I know Jamod uh, here it's just a little bit more more simplistic um, they try to make it a little bit more simple here it feels like uh, with also this uh, this slider here for brightness which I think is very good a cost screen button so you can cost it to your Chromecast if you have one of those at home and I do have that so that's pretty nice uh, but let's go into the settings area here and look how the menu looks like so here we have a button actually for that so you can kind of see here to change the um, kind of like the color here, more brighter colors inside of uh, Android Fabento. You can kind of see here also how this looks a little bit different. The screen here, and you have like a floppy bird game here inside of Android Fabento. I gotta say that's pretty random. Here you don't get a game, but you can get, you know, you can touch them. Why is this Flappy Bird game so hard? Oh my god. Um, but if we go out here, how do we go out? That's weird. Uh, you can see how the buttons down here have changed. And also, uh, if you go into multitasking, now it looks so much more beautiful. So let's open up uh, a bunch of different things. Let's open up uh, like the dialer here and kind of see a very very similar UI uh, But still a lot of differences how how it looks You can you see that it has like more animations overall uh, But if we open up this one and uh, let's just say we open up the Play Store as well Pretty fast load time here, or load up pretty quick here on one uh, or on Android Fop and which I definitely do enjoy. I think I need to download this game and check it out later. Uh, but if we check out the multitasking now, you can see how boring it is here, in, in, especially inside Android 11. It's, it's a little bit boring, you know, you, it looks good, but it looks way better here inside of. Um, inside of um, these pages here that we do get inside of Android Fabento. So it looks cool. You can you have this button to close it. You don't have that over here, but you can swipe both directions, which is good. Uh, that's nice. Uh, you do have uh, this little pin button down here, so you can pin Android uh, to to a to an app, and that it only uses that app. So you can see here now, I can't go outside here. It only wants to use this app, which is good if you want to show a friend something. And we just want to unpin it here, screen unpinned, and now I can do whatever uh, I want. So that's, that's pretty cool. And if you check out the app drawer here, you can kind of see how it have changed color here, it has like a white background inside of, um, inside of Android 5.0 Lollipop. Uh, let's um, check out here if we can see how the boot down screen looks like. Might not be a super big difference here, but then again, remember this is Cyanogen Mod 11 here. And uh, if you see here how uh, 
it looks also a little bit different here when you go into go into different modes here for sound so some other apps here also that have um let's see why doesn't it get remote you can also hold in like this and uh, you can see the difference here for different pages you can still see it has a lot of the a lot of similar ui elements still but uh, it looks a little bit different here especially in the widget settings and if you go into wallpapers you can also see they have a pretty pretty similar ui experiences and uh, quick little button here to settings see do we get that in here no here we actually got themes inside of synergy mode so this is the cool thing synergy mode 11 here is uh, all of these cool things that we can customize like uh, icons we have different icon packs and everything built in pretty nicely and the uh, different like theme packs you can download boot animations and things like that so that is definitely pretty pretty nice so i definitely might do more videos uh, checking out other stuff but uh, this is quickly a video here comparing them a little bit uh with the big cyanogen mod uh, or with the big one plus one here and the um and the uh the nexus 5 i'm sorry if i sound a little bit confusing in this video <laughs> but it is friday so you know, stuff happens. Have a great day.